Denise Marie Santiago is a columnist for the Democrat and Chronicle. Last Friday, she featured Kevin Jennings, who is coming to speak Wednesday at the Strong Museum. The occasion and subject of his talk will be National No Name Calling Week, which his group began in 2004. It is joined by the local community Task Force on Bullying Prevention of Monroe County. Strong Museum's Susan Treen believes that the serious topic of bullying goes well with their museum centered on play. She says, bullying and name-calling make for an unhealthy environment not conducive to either play or learning. Jennings points out that a 2005 report found that 65% of students surveyed reported being harassed or assaulted because of their perceived or actual appearance, gender, sexual orientation, gender expression, race, ethnicity, disability, or religion. Bullying, like other negative behavior, goes away when it is brought into the light of day. A bully gets power because his or her actions are kept secret. When those acts are exposed, the bully's power is diminished, and the right of all of us to live our lives in peace is restored. Don't be afraid to talk about bullying or name-calling. Stand up for others. Don't take part in acts of bullying yourself. If you get a chance, head to the Strong Museum this Wednesday at 7 p.m. to hear Kevin Jennings share his ideas and the ideas of kids all around the country that have faced the challenges of dealing with bullies. This is Mr. Nixon with a little something to think about.